Hi there, my name is Andy. Um, I'm a first aid trainer. I work for the NHS and I've been a medic for about 12 years. The um, reason I'm making this video is because I've seen a lot of people complaining about wearing masks out in public. Uh, lots of people are complaining that those masks affect their breathing, they affect their ability to think um, and cause them distress. Uh, so I thought I'd have a bit of a, a, an experiment and see whether the masks do affect me. Your results obviously may vary. So the way that I'm going to test this is by using this machine. If you're not familiar with these things, they're called pulse oximeters or oximeters. You go on your finger like this and what they're doing is shining a bit of infrared light through your fingernail and it reflects back off your blood and that then gives a number. I'll try to get a bit closer to the camera so you can be able to see it. You'll see that it's the figure of 98. That's 98%. 98 so in other words, my blood oxygen levels are 98%. For most people, normal oxygen levels somewhere between 96 and 100%. Um, if you were on lots of oxygen, if you had an oxygen mask on, you'd probably see closer to 100. If you had breathing difficulties, probably close to 92. If you're oxygen levels dropped below 90. If you were in an ambulance, for instance, and having an asthma attack, you'd probably be put onto an oxygen mask or similar. So just letting it settle down, sometimes it can be affected by movement. The other number you can see on the screen is my pulse rate. It's measuring my pulse as well. Um, that's relatively high at the moment because I'm not used to talking into camera this way. Um, normally around 60 is my resting heart rate. Yeah, so my plan is to use this device um, to measure my oxygen levels as I try on various different kinds of masks. I have everything from a really basic mask, just a piece of cloth, up to a full respirator, and we'll see what, uh, what difference it makes, if any. Um, if you don't want to watch the whole video, it can be quite long, of course. Um, you can skip to the end, or I can tell you what the results are going to be because I've done this before. So, spoiler alert, but it makes no difference. Doesn't matter what mask you have on, these numbers are not going to change. They're all the same. Anyone who tells you different, anyone who tells you that they can't breathe when they're wearing a basic face mask, and they're forced to wear one, and when they go to Costco, they're full of it. And you can refer them back to this video if you like. All right, so we'll have a go with this. First thing I've got over here is just a plain cotton t-shirt sort of thing that someone might put on if they had absolutely nothing else. So, pop that on. Pull it up over my face. So no change really. Next I've got these things. They're often referred to as a buff or a neck tube or something similar. It's nylon with spandex. Pop it over my face like this. So again, no real change got a similar sort of thing from a different company. This one is more of a natural material. This is made of merino wool. Same sort of thing. Still no change. Let's try this. So this is a, it's a plain cloth mask with uh, two or three layers, I believe not mine, um, belongs to my girlfriend. I've just borrowed it from her for the purposes of this. Let's try it on. I have to tie it in place, so I'm going to tie it like here. Quite tight around the nose and then down below my chin. Pop the oximeter back on.
and the saturation levels. It's going to change. So, we move up to these very commonly found these days, mostly on the floor as people throw them away. Um, this one is a surgical mask with uh, three layers, with a fluid resistant outer layer, has the ear loops to hold it in place, but on, has this wire across the nose to seal it, and then again, it should be worn tightly underneath the chin. So look at that. So that. Still no real change. So moving up, I've got this commercially available FFP2 mask. Uh, it's from a company called Nova Protect, very commonly found in industrial use, but also in hospitals. A bit awkward to go on. Still no massive changes there. I've got a pair of FFP3 masks to look at next. So this one is from 3M. Uh, it is a 1863, very commonly found, used in lots of hospital settings, used on COVID-19 wards, uh, part of the standard protective gear for people in full PPE. That should be fitted very tightly across the nose. Good seal all around, sealed underneath. The strap down here low, and this one over the top of your head. And let's have a look at the readings now. Still no change. Got another FFP3 mask, this one also again from 3M, this is the 8835, has a rubber seal all the way around and an external vent filter and some straps to adjust. Then tighten around the face, good seal all the way around, underneath the chin, straps nice and tight. Still no change really. And last, got this respirator from a company called Honeywell. This is the P7700, I believe, with the viral filters. These are used in hospitals, especially in America, and uh, also in industrial settings. Have to be fitted very carefully. So. Okay, so yeah, 
I'm, I don't know, this is not the most scientific a test, and I'm not going to pretend that it is, but I think it gives us a really good indication of what happens when you wear these masks. Does it reduce your oxygen levels? Are you able to breathe with them? And I can't conclude anything other than, yes, of course it does. There's, there's no problem here. I can breathe absolutely normally. Yes, they're uncomfortable. Yes, they feel strange. Yes, they get warm. Um, but realistically, that's a minor inconvenience. I'd much rather wear one of these and feel protected and be protected and protect other people, even if only a tiny bit. They're not going to stop everything and they're not a substitute for hand washing or the other protective measures, but they make a difference. And they don't stop your breathing at all. They don't affect your breathing at all. Unless you have some sort of medical condition, if you have COPD or asthma or something like that, fine, don't wear a mask. You shouldn't go out then because you're highly at risk from COVID-19. So if you have the option to wear these masks, if you're working or if you're on public transport or if you're in an enclosed space, wear the mask. It won't affect your breathing and you'll be protecting yourself and the people around you. Thanks for watching.